Hi, welcome to uh, Instant Atlas. This is our essentials video number 14. Um, it's how to pick up an associate data in your bar chart. Normally the bar chart wants to pick up indicator um, values, but in this video I'm going to show you how and why you might want to have it pick up your associate values instead. So on my screen at the moment, um, I'm looking at our IA workbook data. Um, this comes installed into your installation directory um, of the software. And I'm looking at theme two, indicator four, and the month is January. If you look at the map, you'll see that the colors represent categorical data. The data itself here in the table we can see is high, intermediate, and low. Because this is uh, text-based values, we know that they have to be categorical. So, as a result, our bar chart is not showing anything. It's just saying no data available, and that's because our bar chart does not show categorical data. Uh, it will, however, show numeric data. So, the idea behind this functionality is you could have your map showing categorical data, and your bar chart can show numeric data. For example, a count that would tell you why an area is delineated as high or intermediate or low. Or you could use it for any, any um, associate value that you can think of. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set it up. This is our A workbook, and I've made a couple of edits to it so that you can see um, how to do this for yourself. So the indicator and the theme that we were looking at is this one here, indicator four, and we were looking at January. So all I've done is I've added in my associate values here, count. Be sure that you merge your link field. It can say notes.htm or any other link that you care to put into it. Make sure you merge it over the indicator value and all of the associates it has. In this case, we've only got one associate value. It's just count. So well, you get your information in here, but you're not done yet. Now you need to tell Instant Atlas that these associate values count are in fact numeric data. If you don't tell Instant Atlas that it's numeric data, it will assume by default that it's categorical. So to do this, you need to go into your metadata worksheet, and all you need to do is tell it that the element type is an indicator, the element itself is an indicator for pipe symbol count. This is case specific. If you don't put the name of the indicator precisely as it's written in your workbook, and if you don't put the name of your associate, you can get the name based on whatever you've put in row five. If you don't have it case, case specific, perfect, then the software can't pick it up. So just be careful in column B of your metadata worksheet that you always ensure that you're giving it the right indicator name. And if it's an associate value, which in this case it is, you need the pipe symbol in between the, the name of the associate and the associate value. Sorry, the name of the indicator and the associate um, name. So in metadata element, you want type, because we're going to tell Instant Atlas what type of data this is. And then in column D, we just need to tell it what it is. It's numeric. OK, so we're ready to export our data. So we're going to export. We're going to drop it into the report folder. This will overwrite the data.xml file that's already in there, and that's fine. So that's our data files generated. So this report, though, will not yet show anything in here. So if I just refresh this browser, nothing will change. So let's go into theme two, indicator four. Let's go to January. And we see that nothing's changed. The reason why nothing has changed is because we still need to edit the config.xml file. So you open the config.xml file using our designer. I've already done it for you. And if you look, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the bar chart component, which is here on the bottom left, exactly as we saw in the browser. And we're going to change the, X, the Y axis data here from value, which is the indicator value, to the name of the associate column that we want it to take on instead, which is just going to be count. 
Now we need to go to general properties. There are two ways to get general properties. You can either click this button here that looks like a little sheet of paper with some check marks or tick marks on them, or you can click into any gray space here below the wireframe. I'm just going to click in the gray space and that shows me general properties. Now that we're in general properties, we're looking for sorting. So I'm going to just scroll down until I can see, here we go, chart, sort, data. It's underneath data formatting. And the value here by default says value, which is the indicator value. We're going to change that to count. Now the thing to note is that this is going to affect all bar charts. So if you've got a flipped bar chart instead of the normal bar chart, this will affect the flipped bar chart as well as the normal bar chart. So you can't have a situation where you've got one bar chart showing some data from the associate values and another bar chart showing something else. Unfortunately, it's not going to work that way. Okay, so I'm going to save my config file. And I'm going to refresh the browser. And I'm going to go data, theme to indicator for January. And we can see that now this is taking in data. Now, something to note, the colors of the bars in the bar chart will always be the same as the legend breaks. Um, and the legend breaks are here, low, intermediate, and high. Um, they will take on the colors for the map. The categorical data here is different from the numeric data here. I hope that's clear. If I change this to another theme, another indicator, I would need to go back here and change it here. But if, if I wanted to, we could take theme three, indicator five. This is all numeric data. I could tell in Synatlas that the count values are numeric. And then by changing that information, in the Excel and the data.xml file that we produce, then we'll see some information. Now, something to note, because we haven't done this yet for indicator five, there's no data available in the bar chart. So you need to make a decision about whether or not you want your bar chart to always show associated data. It will only ever show one associate data that you want it to show. So if you always want it to show count, then it'll always show count. If an indicator doesn't have a count, it will show no data available in that instance. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at geowise.co.uk. Thank you.